All right, so here we are. Um, I just wanted to run this quick video of how to actually play uh, Cepheus Protocol. Because I was out there looking on YouTube and I saw so many videos, but the people weren't actually like explaining how to play the game or what to do when you play the game. So I was like, okay, I see they're setting up stuff, but why are they setting this up? And what does this unit do? And how do I actually do the controls? Because since this game is still like in early access, the controls really are not that good. So I'm just gonna run through a quick thing right here. Like as you can see, I did seven attempts to get to the point where I'm at now. So I can be able to um, show you guys how this actually works. So usually I see, these are just the settings if you wanna do how you want to do it day two you can usually start these so these are the raven swarm which will be birds that are infected that can spread between the islands so now you're not safe if you're just off on an island a little leviathan is like this giant worm creature that could like go under the ocean too and under the ground and pop up too so you're not safe on the island again and the juggernaut is just like this big chunky buff hulk looking infected thing and it's like takes a really lot of damage so it's a leviathan to take down and then like with the raven swarms you can um hold on man, my mic is kind of loud so with the raven swarms you could use like anti-air stuff and stuff like that to stop it but we're going to start off at 200k i'm just going to run through like maybe the first five not five maybe the first 15 to 30 minutes of gameplay and show you like how i started up i slowed down the time scale so we can have enough time to do what we want to do and um yeah so that's it and uh yeah let's start captain winter the cepheus pro right, we're gonna go ahead and skip that okay usually what i like to do when i start is first you want to capture a circle but what i usually do skip the tutorial i'm gonna just show you how to do everything right here so you move around w a s d q and e switch or you can Hold in the middle mouse button and roll, scroll with the middle mouse button. It does that. Um, we're just gonna wait. F2 is like, you. the more you fight and kill um, infected, you earn doctrine points, so which you can unlock stuff. Usually I will start with this because it makes everything cheaper. Um, if you press F4, click here, you got night vision so you can see at night. All right, so this is what I like to do at the beginning. I like to wait. And then this tells you where patient zero starts off what i've learned is you want to start as far as away as possible as this i could start over here which this is a really good starting location as you see once you put down a, a sock center then you have like an ammo tent a health tent radio all that stuff and then you can use a radio operator to blow these bridges but since this is a tutorial yeah i'll go ahead and do that all right so you can either do that so for group one i so i'm left clicking and dragging to get over them and then I right click on a circle. So now they should be in motion on their way over here, as you can see. And on there, you have Captain Winters. Like, if she dies, then the whole game's over. So you want to protect her. You usually leave her back at base. Um, what is that? I guess that's the driver. This is the helicopter. This is an assault. And this is my engineer. Engineers are like pure gold in this game, man. This news feed is really annoying. So I would advise you, if you really wanted to, you could like muted or whatever on here and these are other options to which you could like however you want to like play the game or whatever democracy is like the factions you get like if you find them you could like left click here so, ooh. yeah they that's um not good there's patient zero we want to stay away from her wait 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 i wonder i'm gonna hurry up and get over here you know what let's change it over here let's change it right here i want to hurry up and blow those bridges so I just left click and drag over the helicopter to come in here. Left click and drag again. Right click. I want you to drop down here. I want people to drop fast. We gotta drop fast. So I click this twice. If you click it twice, everybody will get off. If you click it once, you can pick who you wanna get off. So press it twice, everybody gets off. Just looking for a good spot to land, even though it takes forever. Let's close this. Left click that. Are you gonna get down? Every up, oh. okay, my bad. So if you click this, and then I'm gonna just click everybody to remove them. Everybody go down. This game is so finicky sometimes. You know what? I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna do the hip. Fuck it. 
Oh, now they want to do it. See, it takes a little while for them to do stuff. So right when we get on the ground, I want to hurry up and get my engineer helicopter. Turn off. Engineer, I need you to, you click this, left click, build my cert, which is like your HQ. Oh, if you press shift and hold it, you can like move it around instead of pressing T or R to rotate. I learned that the other day. So he's going to hurry up and build this. Then once he builds that, I'm going to have him build the sock center, which will go here. Or build the sock center now. And then I want him to also build barracks. Because I want to help get a radio operator. So now if you click on this, you see you could uh, get another engineer out there. Purchase a unit so an engineer will come. Then you got the vehicle and stuff. Right now I'm trying to help him blow the bridge. So, uh... Yeah, not trying to rush it. If you click on this, you can upgrade this. And if you upgrade this, as you see, now we um earn more money from this. And every minute or something so, uh, a supply drop will come. And then that will be money up here. This is what you get from killing infected. And in order to kill patient zero, you have to have a special... Oh, yeah, I should make him build it. Always make him build a generator, too. So you want to go to buildings, build a generator to supply power. So he's gonna build that. Gotta here get that radio operator. All right, cool. No power. Once he gets power, I'm gonna get a radio operator. Put the sparrow over here. I'm gonna put the radio operator on the sparrow to hurry up and blow the bridges. So boom. Now we wanna hurry up and find a radio operator. We're not even gonna train him up. I'll show that after I blow the bridge and get a little bit safer right now. So we're waiting for our radio operator to drop. You go ahead and land. Because I want to hear from the bridge. I probably should have did it further back, but I'm trying to show you another way of doing it if you want to like get in action real fast. But um, radio operator should still waiting for him to drop. There he. Nope, that's the thing that comes every. See, so watch when this hits the ground. Our money should go. Up. Is it too late to join the air force? Boom, got it. Yes, it's too late to join the air force. Operator here. Okay, cool. Operator, where are you going? Come here, bro. I gotta hurry up. I need you. Tell him to get on the helicopter. So I left clicked him, and then I right clicked the helicopter. Now the helicopter, I just left clicked that. I'm gonna bring it to the bridge because I wanna hurry up and blow it before the infected come over. And I'm gonna use this where you can press F6. So I left click that, and then I left click, and then left click again after I found it. the way I wanted to do it. Boom. So now we don't have to worry about infected coming over there. See, I have so much money to do this. This costs 2,500 to do so i have so much money because i'm just trying to hurry up and like just show you guys how to build a base so now three second cooldown one second cooldown i left click pick the area i want to do by just turning left click again Clear the area. Carpet bomb incoming. all right so now we're safe for right now not until as you saw earlier in the settings i was showing you into like day two when the leviathan that little worm creature could come but there's a way you can stop the worm creature which i'll show you so now the radio operator's here, so I left click right there. Helicopter's gonna go where I left click, and then I'm just gonna say go down. And turn off to save gas, because I don't have it anyway. All right, so engineer. So usually what I like to do when I'm starting building now that we have time. So I put down a cert building, which allows you to get an engineer, uh, an Atlas support vehicle, an Ajax, a scout drone, and a radio truck. And then I put down a sock building, which gives you money right here to buy things and whatever. And then killing creatures and stuff gives you doctrine points to which you unlock these, which are like, I guess, a tech tree. And I always get that one first, but I'm not fighting anything right now. Uh, next, you want to get down a generator because everything needs power. And then after that, I like to put down a barracks, but I put down it earlier. And then I would get my engineer, left click on my engineer, click here. And I want him to get down a motor pool because this is how your vehicles will be repaired. This is how, so I left click, pick the area I want it, left click again. This is how your vehicles will get repaired and your helicopters will get refueled, which is what you really, really need. Next, um, for like your fire groups or whatever, you do want to make sure you have a medic. So I will make sure he builds a medical tent, which is right here. This allows you to get medics. Whenever I do start playing a game later, I'm going to make my base look so realistic and stuff. But right now, I'm just running through the basics so you could get an idea of how to play or whatever. I'm holding in the middle mouse button and rolling around, and I can scroll in closer. 
get really close to the ground. I can scroll it out, get away from the ground, yada, yada, yada. So as he's building the medical tent, after that, then you want a civilian shelter. And this will allow civilians in zones to be issued orders regarding, like, you can say, hey, um, quarantine or curfew, or if you want to evacuate, then you have to build the helicopter pad. So let's have him build this. And this is how you get the helipad, how people start evacuating. Because the more people you evacuate, you can set how much money you want to make by just having civilians come to um, the civilians, this civilian tent or whatever. Because once you click on this, you can see other buildings when you click on this. See, now I can make a medic because I clicked on a hospital. And then I could choose him to have a gun or whatever. But usually my medics, I don't like to have them in battle. They're like usually at the back just repairing because if they're not shooting, then they're actually healing the other members of the fire team. Whatever. See the motor pool, you could create these vehicles. Then the medical tent C, you could create these things. Where like now you could tell them like, hey, there's curfew in effect. Okay, so our medic's here. She just dropped in. Like, how you doing? How you doing? I'll show you how to group members and stuff later. But back on this, you could like tell them, hey, now there's curfew, or like, hey, we're gonna start evacuating. But or then you could get this. There's so many different buildings you could get inside holding cell where you could earn this DNA passively by getting an infected and putting it inside of there. And then another cool thing about your met, um, about your engineers is when you um, let me see, when you create an engineer, was it the engineer? Or was it the medic? Let me see. So if I click the medic, I know there's one that maybe I gotta unlock it. But I saw to where oh, it's a scientist. So if you click on the barracks, let me show you what you could do with the scientists. You can come down here and give them this right here. And what this is, you could put them at the front of a gate, gated area. Matter of fact, while I'm talking about a gated area, let's left click him, right click him to bring him over here. And let's go defense, just build a wall. So all right, these walls are kind of finicky in this system. So what I like to do is wait till it turns green to where it's like on a wall. Then I left click. And then it automatically is just holding on. See see how bad that looks? I don't really like the building system. It's so finicky in this game. So I'm going to right click to cancel that. And I'm going to do it outside the wall because I'm, I have, I'm a perfectionist. All right, I like nice looking things. So we're going to click when it turns green there. Now I want to right, right click again. So I'm a perfectionist. So I'm going to have to do this my way. I mean, the object of this game is to build real fast. So I left click. Uh, left click there he's going to build that and it stays up so then i just drag over here left click again and then i go down here left click again and then boom he's going to build that and then if i wanted to put a gate on it you'll see later um they will do that then i have two medics let me right click to close that oh here's so this guy right here let's say i wanted him to check about the civilians best. coming in so i left click right click for them to come over there what they have is a scanner in their hands so they're going to scan anybody that comes through the gate to see if they're infected or not and if they're infected then you would probably want one of these to where you can earn money or whatever i'm gonna right click to get rid of that to where you can earn well not money but this passively to do that so now back on track to what i was saying so after the civilian shelter then i like to get like the landing area oh let me get him to hurry up and build this so you can see so if you click on another medic and you right click he will come help him build this faster. But if you have a medic, as you can see, I mean, an engineer, it's all over the place. <laughs> if you have an engineer and you train them up here, then they will build stuff faster and it will be more effective. And that goes the same way as any troop you want to make. Now, special ops, I'll show you how to get that in a minute. So let's put him right here. So now if I, if I left click that, now you can see like I have other options here. I can make a gate upgrade or a reinforced gate. Or I could just be like, hey, I want to reinforce this. So now that's going to be a tier two gate. So left click this one, left click. So now it's tier two, left click this, left click that. And then sometimes two, you want to do like the pillar. C is tier one corner. So remember to always upgrade your corners too, because I guess they're separate for some reason. So let's make everything a tier two over here. So this corner is a tier one, left click, left click. We're going to make this corner also a tier two. See, it's not perfect, man, but I guess it would do. I mean, it, I can't, I can't, it's not like 100% constructing it. All right, so boom, everything's a tier two over here. 
we'll be set for this tier one wall. All right, so now that's tier one. I mean tier two wall. So now if I left click this, I want to make a gate. So I just left click that and boom. Now this requires power. So remember, get your engineer, buildings, and then I left click that. And then I could just drag around since I pressed shift before and I like it like this. So I left click again. He's going to drop that. Always make sure your gates too are on either automatic or manual. I like mine closed. So I like to do mine manually, but you could do it automatically. But in anytime someone's close, I'm then they're going to do that. So now, like, let's say you wanted to now let's get back to building all the buildings before we do that. So now we want the landing pad. And then I'll show you, um, this is the, where the helipad, this is how you can start evacuating your civilians and stuff. See, if you're struggling with room, you could either do it that way, but let me right click to do and show you how to like destroy stuff. You could do this and it destroy stuff, but it costs money to do. But you always want line of sight in this game when you're like shooting something, because if they don't have line of sight, then they're not going to be able to hit it. So, all right, we can get that out the way now. All right. So now let's get our engineer left click. Right okay. click here since I haven't captured this zone yet. Remember to also capture the zone. It'll be the little circles in the zone. So that's another capture zone. This is another capture zone. And that allows you to where's he going? I'm hearing gunfire. Wait, where are you going? What? Oh my bad. Somebody's shooting. Are they already shooting that infected? I don't know. But anyway, capture that. Oh, let's let's get some uh, cover right now. So I'm just gonna get a couple of these guys just in case while I'm just trying to do this little intro tutorial video. See, okay, so right now you see, look, I'm running to the limit right now, and the only way to get that limit to go up here, let me show you, is to get. This is a good example. You want garrison tents. These will allow you to have more of that cap that you need. So now we captured this zone, right? So now we own the zone. We got all the resources from it and stuff like that. Here comes our money. And once he builds this, you will see that this cap will go up over here. And then, matter of fact, why he's doing that, we'll do this. Just trying to help get through this. So now there's our helipad. Let's go ahead and build that. Boom. Now we can start evacuating people with that usually i will put that down like a little bit later in the game once i set up my bench i mean once i set up my uh base and all of my defenses and then if you wanted to run power you could use the uh i haven't used this one yet this is interesting hover over a civilian to access our scan data oh i might have to use that later but you have also the medical tents which you can set down you got your metal you got the ammo tents but if you wanted to run power over here you could like get it in a radius of the generator which is right here boom now anything and then see how far this radius is which comes to maybe almost to this body so now this whole area can run power down here watch when he builds these two uh oh that's who's fighting i was wondering so you really want to be nice with the fractions the factions and the way to do that is you come up here you'd be like hey I want to initiate trade. I like you, so I'm gonna give you a thousand, and boom, now we're friendly. Or you could give them more, or you could declare war with them right here. If you click on this, this just goes to your engineer, your two engineers that you have. That's another way I found. See, like now we got 14, so now instead of 11, we could build more people. So now, see, now we can build two. Let's purchase those units, just because. All right, let me show you how to group units right now while we're waiting. Bring the medic right here. So like, let's say, get this out the way. Let's say I wanted a group two, right? If I left click the medic and I press control two, I have now created a group two and you can name them whatever you want, yada, 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 right? And like, let's say I wanted the Francis in group two. I left click them, I press control two. Boom, Francis is now group two. But like I say, oh, I want Francis back in group one. So I can press control one and Francis goes to control one. And it's all the way through control nine where you could do that. So right now, these two guys over yeah, here, wish. I left click and drag. I'm going to press control two. So now they're in group two. So now if I press two, so this is group one. I'm pressing one. It goes to group one. Two goes to group two. I right click. I Here they are. Now if I hold right click and hold, hold it and press the area, they will go into that formation. 
And usually when I'm out in the field doing battle or something for these formations, I would do a wedge formation. And I would have my medic in the back like this, right? But my medic's not in the back. So I will come over here, left click and drag because I want my sure medic in the back. This. So now I would press two and then I would Give do this. So now my medic's going to be towards the back, right? And I would usually have somebody back here protecting her. But then also, because my medic, since I want them to heal instead of focus on shooting, I will come down here and I will say fire mode, hold. So boom, she's not going to shoot in combat. They are. So if one of them gets hurt, her main priority is going to be to come and heal them, which is a good tip to do because sometimes your medic will be shooting and you'll be like, oh, one of my people about to die. Why are you not helping? And that's the reason why. So, hmm, what else is there to do? I guess just recruit more engineers and set up your base the way you want to. Um and just basically do that so that was like 20 minutes of an intro and uh yeah that's basically the game that's like some tips and stuff that i learned by just going through the game and playing because i couldn't actually find it these are like your little border visuals world stats squad orders and then if you click this oh this is another tip if you click this right here so this yellow means that this building is populated with civilians and if i left click on it you can condemn the building which means Oh, uh, civilians not going to leave the zones uh, to look for another building, but they're not going to be in this building anymore. So, like, that's how you could, like, cleanse areas and stuff. Yellow means people are in there. Red means I think it's empty. Wait, let's see. So, if I click on this again. All right. So, red means it's empty. Yeah. And, and uh, green means it's a lot of people in there. And then also another thing I learned too. So like if I'm cool with this fraction, I could left click on their building, right? And I'd be like, hey, I like where you at, but I want to be in that area. So I left click that and I can move their base to wherever. Well, it's not letting me move it anywhere. Oh, here we go. I can move their base, left click because I already pressed shift. So now I could just do this wherever I want. And then I left click again. But you see what you did is you lose... They still tolerate our presidents, but if we come back here, we lost some points with them because we moved their base. So be careful when you have when you move um, the faction's base because you will lose um, coolness with them or whatever you want to call um, rep or I, I don't know whatever you want to call it. But then you just have to if you want to get that back up, you'll be like, hey, here's a hundred dollars and shut up, boom. Or wait, I canceled it. So wait, instead of a hundred, let's give them ten thousand. I'm friendly. I don't care. Boom, confirm. Now we're allied with them. They love us. So I can move their base again, and let's see how much it drops when I move it again. Boom, I drop it again, boom. It just drops that little bitty percentage, but it didn't matter because we gave them 10,000 monies. So they love us. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. Radio operators call in the strikes and stuff, and then if I wanted to start building vehicles and stuff to get out there and get in the mix, then I would. Oh, since we still have time, let's go ahead and show you all the buildings. Let's go ahead and lay down um, medical tent, boom. Let's lay that down. I don't care. Just make it like that. Then we're going to lay down also an ammo tent. And if your troops are within this ammo area, then um they will get supplied ammo. But like, let's say you're out there in the field and y'all battling and y'all need ammo. Boom. Press F5. You could drop an ammo box in on them like that. Now they got ammo. Oh, this is actually cool. This actually crashed my game last time I tried. It's an operator. So if you left click that and you drop them, this is a character where you could go into FPS and actually be on the ground in the mix, fighting everything and doing yada, yada, yada with. I'm So that's cool. And later I saw down on the roadmap that let me turn off this so that building stop turning yellow. But I saw on the roadmap that actually they're going to have you customize and be able to name this person, pick out their gear and everything. Here they come parachuting down. I'm scrolling out with the mouse wheel. There they go. So this operator is going to be cool. It's going to be customized to however we like. I mean, she cute. She cute. Nah, but uh, I kind of want to make a man, you know, for me and act like that's me on the ground. Casey Yates. Nah, it'll be me. It'll be cyber down there in the ground on the mix because we don't want Adrian Winters to go anywhere. Oh, let me show you a cool thing about Adrian Winters, too. So, like, if you're in trouble with her, she has special perk to where she could go cloak. She's invisible. And then you could get her out of there. Like, let's say, run, Adrian. You know, get out of there. And then she's running. You could toggle her to walk or run. She gets out of there to save herself. Medics, as you saw, has this where you could toggle medic on, toggle medic off. You could tell them, like, I want to heal or not. Uh, this is my assault guys. They have grenades. They also can lay down sandbags or barbed wire for free they're not like so like you could left click there you could drag left click again he'll build that you got the other assault guy you say hey i want to build some barbed wire find that left click there drag it 
left click again here lay down bob water and that's like free that doesn't cost money from what i've saw before so that's cool so everybody engineers built they're like the gold so now as we see yates she throws grenades she's like an assault but she has highly she's like highly effective also too if you're in combat and you don't want to be loud you can order like let's just say press two so now we're on group two we'd be like hey group two turn your flashlights on for night operations or you could press f4 to go into night vision so you can see better if you're like recording for other people or you can't see at all at night you can do that with f4 and then you can tell them hey put your silencers on so now they have silencers on to where they won't be so loud it just depends on the gun it's not for everybody like if somebody got a saw 249 they're, they're not going to put a silencer on that but yeah that's basically the game and i actually went over everything that i had to learn by myself that i didn't understand wait power still not over here oh because the power grid is being overwhelmed i'm guessing so it has why is this one not it's not reaching the area okay so we would want our we can come up here where's our engineer you come over here built this generator so i can end the video boom in the video and just just when you play this game experiment with what you want to do or not oh yeah so to get the other operators i'm sorry i lost track well i'm gonna build that to get the other operators and stuff you can come over here and help them but to get the other operators like the spec ops or the sniper you would want to um build uh this this center right here or you could put up a guard tower face my guard tower some certain area oh so to stop the leviathan like i said you want this right here which is a restrictor and when you put this on the ground that worm creature inside of this area is not going to be able to come up and attack because it's so annoying and another thing i learned too about the lights so you see these little lines right there right don't put two um lights on the same thing so you can see how it's facing this area right let's say i would install another light that's trying to overlap them that's going to cause your game to crash so you don't want these lines intersecting with another light but uh, this is for nighttime however far that goes out that's how far your people can see and they'll be effective to shoot within that range so now that we have the command center down you see now we can create a spec ops class and a sniper class which is so cool and shred arounds remember this is 650 dna points and you get that from these and you get that from when you kill infected you see dna points come up to where you earn that and this is the only way to kill patient zero because you can incapacitate her but she will regen and just keep coming back she's invulnerable so now we got the spotlight here as you saw and then in the guard tower let's say we want to change our guards tower um our guard uh gun you can get the sniper 200 damage wow this one has 31 let's say oh i want my sniper he, now he's a sniper and like let's zoom in on the tower on him so i'm right clicking to clear everything out the way i'm zooming in on him What's so cool about this is if he sees somebody, this tower right here will open up to where he will have open area to shoot out and then he will shoot out and do it. So you just build your base however you want. That's the fun thing about this game. And I just really like to play it by taking it slow. Your medics, I mean, your engineers can heal things. I like really playing this game by taking it slow and just like reading these things and be like, hmm, do I really want these missile tours? These will probably actually be good for when the Ravens come into effect in whatever day you set and these are for good for setting up at the uh, bases or at your perimeters for having automatic turrets and then landmines around your area just in case something comes if you don't have line of sight to do that or tugs which will ping the minimap if affected into the area you know like oh they're coming actually see we're running out of power again generators are something you really 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 want to make sure you have enough power and really uh have set up but Oh, this is going to be so cool whenever I start the series on what I want to actually do. I'm, like, going to have a generator, like, blocked off by fences and then, like, guards. Oh, yeah, let me show you a cool thing, too, which I learned. So, like, let's say we do two, right? So, two, now I'm on group two. You can have them do... So, if I press U and I'm left click... Ugh, wait. So, if I press two and then I... Not enough patrol points. Oh, Left click is the last one. See, that's another thing I had to figure out. So I press one, so I press two. Now I'm on a group. If I say left click here, left click here, left click here, and left click here, and then I right click to end it out. That would be their final point. I right click to cancel their patrol because I didn't like the way that is. So left click, now you see it turns blue. So I left click here, left click here, 
left click here and let's say i want this to be the final point where this dead body is i right click boom now look what they're going to do they're actually going to go on that patrol and like let's say you want to make it look more cinematic and so i'll be like hey y'all walk or y'all run on y'all patrol so boom they're going to hit that boom now they're on their patrol running it looks crazy being on the patrol run i'll be like what are they getting in trouble like what, what are they doing but like you know you can have them just jogging so now they're going to keep doing that until you tell them otherwise not to so let's say I want them to stop. Be like, hey guys, stop. I got a mission for you. So I press two and I just right click somewhere. They stop. And then I want them to load up on a helicopter. I think it could take six. Yeah, it could take six. Boom, boom, boom. Helicopter's ready. Sparrow, I left click that. Let's say I want them to go get into the mix. Let's just, let's go get into some action real quick before I end this. Because we're only at 30 minutes. I'm going to make this less than 40 minutes, so don't worry. But basically, you got the gist of the game. A lot more than what I saw out there on YouTube teach you. Whoa! There's a big one. Oh! So I'm going to just show you what the DNA points look like right here. Well, let's help these guys. We're going to help these guys right now. No. Help them get out there. Help them, help them, help them. Go ahead, repel down, guys. So I'm gonna just start pressing Z instead of like coming over here because sometimes they click off the map when you do that. So I just press Z. I press Z twice. Now everybody's getting off the plane. I'm just having to get in the mix, you know. I'm trying to see the DNA points come out. Boom. Got my radio off. Oh, oh, got my radio off. See, that's the DNA points you want. So then the only way to get the DNA points, which I did not bring, is you want a scientist to come over here and get it. Because scientists are the only ones that can collect that. And see, we killed this hive now. Now, they're not going to spawn from here anymore. But, like, let's say I'm ready for my people to come out. Job well done. Y'all did y'all thing. I'm so proud of y'all. Helicopter land. Everybody. GTFO. You know, y'all were good, Freeman. But, uh, we out. We out. No, we out. But uh, yeah, that's the gist of the game. It's so fun, man. Like, I'm so happy I took the time to actually learn how to play this game because the tutorial's not very good. People wasn't telling me like the controls to do, whatnot. Oh yeah, another thing to learn too is very important. If you press spacebar, it pauses. Nowhere in the control settings is that shown up anywhere. So I was like, how do you pause the dang game? But yeah, press spacebar to pause the game whenever you need to like move to another area, do something. And you could come back to the area you need to. Or if you really want to do it, you could like left click over here to move around faster. Alright. But uh yeah, so let let me come back over here. Um get this helicopter loaded. So I'm gonna click on the helicopter. No, I'm gonna press control two. So now the helicopter's in group two. So I press two. Oh, you could double tap two or you could double tap one. See I double tap one, so now it's going to my first group. I double tap two and now it's going to that group. Anyway this helicopter can still get damaged by the birds or the advanced infected which are like mind control humans so where they could jump up and like attack the helicopter which is some crazy shit but anyway so let's bring the helicopter back double tap two to find out where they at they're over there whoop i left y'all too bad sorry sucks to be you so like let's see the helicopter is let's get those so now i want it to land so i press c or i could just tap c and now it's going to fuel back up and uh shut up press x i'm i don't like pushing over here so i like pressing on the keyboard so i press x see now you see the yellow bar is full it's full of gas the green bar is the health and uh let's make everybody get off so i press z twice now everybody's off so i press two now for the group come over here i press shift two for only that one i don't want that one so i left click shift left click shift left click shift left click right click to bring my other oh, ready operator I just left click him. What group is he in? I don't know. Let's press control too. So now he's in this group. So let's bring him over here. But uh, this game's loud. Oh, so loud. But anyway, yeah, that's the game. You just uh try to kill patient zero. Um, up here, you have how many civilians you got, and how many people you can save. And uh, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed that video because I was so lost when I was playing it. But now I actually know how to play. So later, I, whenever the game gets more of a stable build, because I'm on an experimental branch right now, whenever it gets more of a stable branch, then I'm going to actually do a series to where I'm going to build a badass looking base. I'm going to have patrols going, walking all around the base. I'm going to have attack squads. I'm going to have spec ops. I'm going to be doing certain stuff. I'm going to be evacuating civilians. I'm going to be doing a lot. I'm going to be doing a lot. 
But uh, yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video of how to play this game. Later, I'll be streaming probably some Battle Bit or some other games. It just depends. Or maybe I'll start a series on this. I don't know yet because every couple of weeks or it looks like within the past two weeks, they created this new patch. So like it would have made starting the game like obsolete because if you would have started that game, then you would have been like, oh, shit, like a new patch just came out. I just wasted all that time. But um, yeah, all right, that's it. I'll be back later on today streaming some other stuff. I'm trying to stream every day or every other day or every every other day. Every other other day. However you say that. But yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll catch you next time. We will be seeing this game more in the future. And I will be putting in my military um, experience into this game to be badass. So um, yeah. Thanks for the support. Like, comment, subscribe if you want. I hate saying that. So I, I don't want to keep saying that crap. So I'm not going to really say it. But yeah. So, uh, see you later for the...